exciting. Um, I last okay. So a little bit of a history with me in Cube World. Uh, a friend of mine, Blue Plane, aka Dean, who plays a lot of zombie games with me, uh, came up to me and said, "Oh, you gotta play Cube World." And I'm like, "I don't know." Um, my my son really loves Minecraft, but I just I, I played it a little bit, kind of got into it, but not so much. Um, and so these voxel games, I didn't really want to play another game where I was digging in the dirt. So I decided that I would play uh, Cube World because he gave me a free key. Well, since since then I have I bought it myself. But anyway, um, I decided to check it out and I started playing it. And I played it for maybe four or five hours and I thought, you know what, this would be great to make a video on. It's a new game. It's fairly unknown. And if if people like it, they could check it out on my channel. And so I played it for maybe four or five hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I then uh, made some videos and it was really fun and everyone enjoyed it. And then last video, I started playing and I was not quite 100% sure what to do with uh, the game because I've been playing it and I noticed that there were some things like specifically that the, the characters had different color text over their head and I didn't quite know what that meant. And so I went to this wiki site thinking, okay, if I go to a wiki, at least it'll have the right information, or at least sort of right. And I put it up, and then um, it got put up on Reddit. And then Reddit people came over and started attacking me on my channel, saying all the information was wrong, and how dare I put out a video with wrong information. Hey, Journey Girl 1301 aloha to you, too. Are you from Hawaii? Hang loose, bro. <clears throat> anyway, so I started um, I started doing that, and, 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 and they just blasted me that I, the information was incorrect. I apologize ahead of time, before we even get going in this, that I am probably not going to say the right stuff. There is a very high probability that everything I say in this game is going to be 100% wrong, so I apologize ahead of time. So let's get started. This is Geekosaurus. Or, I'm sorry, Geek Domo. He's more of a Geekosaurus, though, isn't he? Geek Domo, and my land is called Geek Domo, and we will select that and get started. Oh, I follow you on Twitter. Cool. I'm glad some Twitter people came over. I'm glad you're watching with me. So, this is my very first one. I might do stuff completely wrong. I don't know. I am waiting for my new video card. I ordered a GTX 770. I had a pair of 6990s, and one of them, the fan burned out and blew up, and it caused them both to die. It overheated them. So I had to put an old GTX 470 in here, which works, but um, but it's uh, it's not optimal for streaming, but it'll be good enough. All right, so a little bit about Cube World. It is a voxel-based game. It uses some, um, some features from MMOs in it. <laughs> Yay, party! <laughs> That's Fudge Truck, a.k.a. Kevin. He's awesome. I love Kevin. Kevin's like a bro. Uh, so apparently you can train pets, but this is my alpaca. I'm going to fight him. I am using brass knuckles. Ooh, are you guys getting an echo? I didn't even think to ask you that. Look at that. That was massive damage right there, yo. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it looks like Minecraft, but as of yet, I have not found any way for me to dig. Um, what I'm going to do real quick, move my head around the camera here. I'm going to lower the volume on Cube World a bit. There we go. That way I can still play. You guys are probably hearing it anyway. Um, okay, so it's not echoing. I love Twitch. Twitch is a lot less glitchy than uh, than YouTube for streaming, I'll tell you that. YouTube, I'd love to stream on YouTube, but Twitch is where it's at when it comes to streaming, I'll tell you that. Okay, so, uh, mobs in this game, okay, these guys are blue, so apparently they're probably not going to chase me. I don't know. I don't know what the colors mean. I thought I knew, but I got it completely wrong and people hate me now. So you farm by uh, just attacking bushes and attacking whatever. There are certain plants you can pick up directly. If you see a mob that's got a red name, or I, get, I don't know. So he's going to attack me anyway. You attack with your left button, and then you can use your special move when it gets up to 100 on your right button. 
Uh, because I'm using Brass Knuckles, he's, he's sort of a Kung Fu master. He, even though I'm playing the Rogue, I got kind of like Kung Fu moves. I can use my right mouse button and do like a special thing when I get a full pop. Ooh, look at that. He dropped something. I love this in all MMOs. Uh, he dropped a shield that's bigger than his entire body. It's just the magic of an MMO. We'll just call it magic. Can I pick that up? That's no, just a grass leaf. So the colors in this game are absolutely beautiful. This is a um, a procedurally generated game, meaning that you play on this, you will not see the same stuff I do because it's totally generated just for me. As we go, so I love dinosaurs too. I'm a little geekosaurus at heart, but now I'm Geek Domo. Long story how I had to change my names, change my name. See, I love that with this. So you get the right mouse click, and I can stun him for a second. And that gives me enough time to whittle him down even farther. Ooh, look at this. He dropped something else. What's that, recipe? Formula Balanced Wood Staff. Hmm. Something I can't make because it's for a mage. Whoa, okay. Those guys are frogmen, and they're red. So they are going to attack me, I think. Go away, frogmen. I don't want to have anything to do with you right now. Uh, campsites that are set up, you can um, either sleep in some, which will restore your health, or you can cook and craft. So you hit C for crafting. Let's we'll see what any, if I have any materials that I can make something with. No. Uh, I can't make a ginseng. No, I can't make ginseng soup either. So at this point, I'm all out of soup, and I've got nothing else that I can craft. So we'll just move on. I was looking for a campsite that might have had a. Um, a bed in it. <laughs> Frogs! You can pick up these little plants and then you can uh, make them into potions. Are the game sounds okay for you guys? So because it's procedurally generated, I have no idea where to go next. But I could literally run in this game from one... I could run in indefinitely in one direction. Like, it would just keep going. Oh, here's some ginseng. Game sounds are good. Thank you. The the, uh, the lag on this versus YouTube is much better. Like, there's a, only, like, maybe a 10-second lag from what I ask and you guys can say. On YouTube, it could be 10, 15 minutes. It's just really bad. All right, let's go over here and make some ginseng soup so I can heal myself up. I'm almost dead. Hopefully those frogs don't come after me. Your car's campfire. I'm at the campfire. Yeah, I made soup. Let's check my inventory. Oh, I have lots of soup. Oh, okay. How do I put it in my thing, though? This is the thing about this game. It, um... It's not quite intuitive, and I'm still learning it myself. <laughs> Don't worry about the ugliness of your face. Look at my mug! Look at this! Arr! Don't worry about it. Get on camera. It's okay. I don't, even, I don't even know what your face looks like, and I would probably say it's probably not ugly. So don't worry about it. Okay, here we go. Our little geek domo. We are going to level you up, pal. I'm almost, I'm 47 out of 50 experience points. What are these? Beetles? Okay. They got red names and red bars, which I think means they will probably attack me and they'll probably kick my ass. So I'm probably going to ignore them. Ooh, there's a campsite. Does it have a bed? Oh, a bee! I totally love the brass knuckles. I could be using my daggers right now. I can put them on and show you what it does. But every every weapon you get does something different. Yeah, baby, level up. That's what I'm a talking about. I'm a geek domo, and I'm level two, and I'm running in a circle. Okay, let's look at myself. So we go here to I. No, no, no. we want to do skills. So probably S. No. B. No. How do we do? Oh wait. If I hit escape, I can go here. 
level up. Okay. So just like in World of Warcraft, you can pick, or even any of the other MMOs that are out recently, you can pick different um, skills you want to upgrade. And so I have two skill points total, and I could spend them on here to go to sneak, riding, hang gliding, sailing. Right now I'm set for assassin. I could go to ninja, but it costs money. I don't have that much money. Um, I guess I'm going to pick intercept. Learn that. And then we'll learn sneak. Which I can't. Oh, another point in intercept. Oh, I guess you gotta get a certain number of points in before you can get the next level. Okay, learn that. Like I said, I am totally learning <laughs> this game as I play with you guys. Alright, so now, um, I see you got mouse one, mouse two, and then number one. So I'm using WASD to move around, so I just gotta hit my right click. And apparently it'll intercept and attack. But those are... There's four of them there, and just like in any other MMO, you gotta be careful what you pull. Pull too much. <laughs> if I set a camera up in the street and set it to fast forward, would I see the future? I don't know, but you know, I, I asked my. Uh, the, I, we have a friend who lives in Australia right now. He's actually from Ireland, but he's in Australia. Chris, shout out to Chris. Anyway, Chris, he uh, he lives in Australia, and in Australia it's already tomorrow. And so I said, Hey, man, tell me what the uh, lottery numbers are for tomorrow, because that would be awesome. I'm just gathering while I'm walking around trying to find stuff to fight. Uh, these bushes and things, they don't give me any extra uh, experience when I kill them, obviously. Ooh, what are these? A biter. Are they zombies? I don't know. But I don't think I can pull just one. I don't have any range attack either. I, yeah. The good news is there is the resurrection angel. They put them all over the place. So if I die, I'll end up right back there again. So let's go for it. I'm 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 really willing to live on the edge. Ooh, Fudge Truck is from the future. He's a future Fudge, and a future truck. Fudge Truck is the best truck ever. That's what I think. Oh, there's something that's out in the open. What is it? What are you? It's an elf named Elric. Okay, so he's got a blue name and a blue bar, so he's just going to talk to me. Hello, Elric. What do you have to say? <laughs> I like your style, too. All right, fine. I'm not going to talk with him. Oh, look, a bed. Okay, so if you find a campsite with a bed, then you can lay down in it sleep. Oh, what's this? A turtle. I've never seen a turtle before. Hi, turtle. How are you? That's nice. So if they have a, a orange bar, apparently you, you can tame them, but or an orange name... I don't know. I'm never going to get this right. And you know what? You people out there that are hardcore cube world people, I apologize. Whatever. Die, turtle! The turtle is tough. Ooh, look at that spin attack he's got. That's pretty cool. I tried out my special move on him. I don't think it did anything. He's got a cooldown, though. i got to wait for it to come back up. That's the only way I can win, is I beat these turtle down. There we go. Three experience points for killing the turtle. Okay. So here's a bed. You hit hard asleep. Take a little nap. And get my health back up. Alright, so what do we got here? Cool story, bro. You should tell it again. <laughs> if you find a bed and you can do other stuff, lay wink. Yeah, but I don't have anybody I'm playing with in the game. So I can't do, like voxel based sex or something that'd be weird like really weird I, I don't know uh, how do I get up from sleeping just move okay Ooh, is it gonna be nighttime I have never played cube world at night is it scary I have no idea what's gonna happen what's this another alpaca I have a thing for alpacas I know they can be my pets but I want to fight them all Press F, you'll need it. What's F? What's that? Oh, it's a flashlight. Look at I'm carrying a little torch or a lantern. 
It's a lantern, isn't it? Neat. Okay. We'll put it away for now because I'm going to enjoy the dusk. The alpaca is cute, and that's maybe why I want to kill him. Because I am Geek Domo. Greatest Domo in all the land. So says my videos. Wee. This is one thing. It usually you run on top of the water. That's really weird. I was just about to say, you always run on the water. But this one I'm actually underwater. Okay. Got a great jump, though. What's this thing? A plane runner. It looks like Hubert. Yeah, only one experience point for killing that thing took half my life. That's the other thing is does the, the your life doesn't regenerate in this thing. You have to do it yourself. But there's a camp there. Is there a bed? Let's see. Ooh, he dropped something. What did he get? Common cotton boots that I can't use. All right, Fudge, explain to me the... the um, Fudge plays this a lot more than I do. Um, what does the power mean? Like, I can't... Uh, I can't I can't wear certain things because it has a certain power rating, or do I need to level up and I'll get a higher power rating? How does that work? Yeah, it's very blocky. It is a lot like Minecraft. In the, in the respect that it's everything's made out of blocks. But you, in this game so far, I haven't dug anything. Like, I, I literally don't have a way to dig. Hello, owl. You, you're getting power when you level up. Oh, thank you, Zone Mash. Welcome. I didn't see you join us. Alright, cool. So... Nice. So as I level up, I get power. And apparently then... I, so it's like a level restriction on uh, in like World of Warcraft. I'm sorry I keep using that as an example, but it's what I, I play a lot. Kevin plays a lot, or Fudge plays a lot of that. So um, that's what I'm going to use as my guide, because this is more of an MMO than it is anything else. So, okay, so as I level up, I'm going to gain power, and as I gain power, I can uh, wear different stuff. But I was at the, I was at the, ooh, was this a dog? Oh, it's a wolf, okay. I was at the, uh, ooh, he's strong too, holy cow. Um, I was at the city the other day, and I was looking at stuff, and it had power level requirement of like, and I'm toast. It had a power level requirement of like 90 or something. Are you telling me there's 90 levels or higher? See, why do they put these angels in a tree? I don't get that. Like, that's just a really bad place for an angel. Because now i got to drop, jump off and hurt myself. I didn't hurt. Okay, I didn't hurt myself. I don't know where they put my... Crab! Crab! Okay. I, I want to fight the crab, but I don't know what this thing is. They all have plus twos. Apparently, things that have plus twos drop better gear. But they're also harder. All right, I'll try one. Here's one. Spitter. Oh, he's spitting at me. Ah! You bat oh, my God! He, like, wasted me. Okay, we're not going to do that anymore with the crabs. And look at... It's like teleporting me a million miles away. Where the hell am I now? I don't know, but there's a, a web I can get. I'm waiting for my friend Thomas to get online. This is how I'm passing the time. Angel in a tree sounds like a song. It does. Whenever you see red names in 80%, you should run away. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Zone Mash, because I'm like I, I totally admit I'm a noob at this game, complete noob. I, I've only probably played it five hours total, and this now that we're playing now is a little bit more. So it's five and five minutes and a couple seconds. Oh, okay. Now you're saying eighty percent. What does that mean? Eighty percent health. I love ham too. Ham McCristan. <laughs> Okay, so these guys have a full health bar. 
how are you? What's the eighty percent thing you were talking about? I think I should avoid these anyway, but I'm guessing it's uh... oh a cow. I can take a cow. I'm just trying to level up anyway. One hard hitting bovine. Oh, in an 80% situation, you should run away. I gotcha. Yeah. Unless it's like a perfect storm of where I'm totally fully healthed up and I've just got the best weapons ever, and then I could probably try to take one. Oh, dude, I am so hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. I know it's late. I take medicine in the morning that basically says I can't eat breakfast. Because if I eat breakfast, it doesn't work, and then I'm, I'm screwed. So I have to wait till noon lunchtime. I eat breakfast at lunch. What is this thing? Is that another owl? Raccoon! Oh. You get a two-handed sword because the stun is higher. Okay, let's look. I'll check out my inventory. I do have some other weapons. I have two daggers, which I could put on. And I got an iron longsword. Warrior, I got a, those are for warriors. I'll try a longsword. I'm okay. I'm cool with that. Okay, wait. There we go. Oh, it's like a ninja sword, too. That's really cool. Alright, let's check out some attacks we got. So, M1... Very cool looking attack. Alright, let's check out this. We'll try out the raccoon with this. Oh my god, this raccoon's nuts! And I'm dust. Alright, so maybe not that raccoon. Let's find somewhere else. Man, they keep sending me a million miles away. I have no idea where I'm ending up each time. I'm, it might be close to where we were, but... Sometimes it seems like it's a million miles away. So you don't need food or water or anything like you do in other games. You don't, like, get hungry or anything. Basically, food in this game is just a way to replenish health. Do you guys know if it later on le higher levels of food, do they give you like a buff? Why am I in a high level district? That is a good question. I wander. And I was telling everybody that in this game, you can, um, you can go in any direction in infinitely because it just procedurally generates the land underneath your feet as you go. So I was kind of showing that. Well, there's like, these flies... Normal flies, I think I could take in real life. These flies, not so... The stun is great on that sword. Awesome, thank you for the tip. I'm a rogue with a longsword. Does seem to fit, be a little bit uh, anachronistic. Okay. What is it, a roving band of wizards? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stay away from the roving band of wizards. Yeah, these guys are all tough. What's going on here? How did I get so far away? I should get a pet as soon as possible so you can tank for me. And if you want high damage, I suggest daggers because they can do poison. Oh, I love the daggers. I was just doing the uh, the, the longsword because he mentioned it. Okay, so you mentioned that I should do... I should get a pet. Could you please help me get one? Maybe an alpaca because I like to slay them. Let me try to find a place that I can get a pet. And then I'll have you show me how to do it. Because I have no idea. I am learning this game as we play. Okay, white name is easy, little harder is orange, and red get away. But there's times that I've fought reds and I've done just fine. Like, it, it doesn't even phase me to do a red. So I guess maybe that's probably not the best example. I need food first. I got some food. I got four bits of uh, ginseng soup. Oh, I need, like, it was like pet food? They won't, uh, so my ginseng soup doesn't work, apparently. So I gotta find a town, is what you're saying. Pet food. Okay, cool. 
Well, uh, I have no idea. Let's look at the map. This is how much as I've explored. We gotta get back to a town. I know I've seen a town somewhere. Maybe I haven't seen a town on this one yet. Uh, the other character I made, I deleted. And I made a whole new land called Geek Domo. There's the town right there. So I've got to go left and then run that way. So that's south. i got to run southeast. Okay. I like the, the uh, compass is nice. All right, let's do that. We're going to head to town. Yes, I'm serious. I made a new character. I don't know if that's what you meant, the question you were asking. <laughs> okay, so we're headed southeast, and we're going to find a town. Wait, there's a radish. I love radishes. While we're doing that, I'm going to go to my inventory. And, oh, hey! Radish. I'll teach you a lesson, Mr. Radish. I'm going to slice you up for my salad. Okay, let's go to my inventory, and... Got my daggers back. I'm looking very roguelike. Heading southeast some more. It's getting dark. There's some alpacas. Okay. I'm picking these just because. Might need them later. As long as I'm running past them, I might as well get them. So where did you guys find me? Uh, did you look for Cube World, or are you a Twitter per person, or what? It's going to take me a minute to run to town, so I might as well chat with you. The long sword probably is better. I don't know, but I love the I love the poison effect. It's really cool. Like, it's my special move. I use M2. There's a the town. Cool. All right. So let's run into town. And So is there, like, a store that just, like, an inn will sell pet food? Journey says she, uh... Saw my Twitter post, and Zone Mash was looking for Cube World. Zone, I apologize. You might not have seen this in the beginning. I know nothing about this game. So I... I'm not, um... Oh, so you can rest in the inn. And what does it do? Set the day up again? So it comes right back. Uh, anyway, so I apologize if I say things wrong. It's, um... I'm totally learning this game. Just healing up here real quick. How many people are playing Cube World right now? If you if you look for Cube World, what is it like? Five hundred, five. It's still a fairly new game. Okay, what did that do? Did that change the time? It looks like it did. Oh, it's daytime now. Well, that is no cool. Okay. There's a there's a collie I could use as a pet. Okay, I'm in the pet district, so I'm guessing this is where I can get pet food. Okay. So open this up. This is an inn. Pumpkins. I'm just gonna pick some pumpkins. Don't know. I don't even have a pumpkin recipe, but so far I can see there's no there's no max limit of items you can carry so far. Okay, while you're in town, you'll see more. One, see one sign with a bag on it. Just enter the house and buy that. Okay. Do 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 do. That's the pet district. So I'm guessing each city has a pet district, and you can you can tame the pets that are in that district. There's some people chatting over there. Is that 50 silver or 50 gold or 50 copper? I don't know. I have to sell some stuff too. That'll give me some money. So I'm gonna go in here real quick and sell sell some things. <laughs> Okay. 
I'm not going to make this wood stuff. So I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell some radishes. I'm going to sell these pumpkins too because I just picked them up for free and I'm sure they're going to respawn. I'll keep some of this other stuff. But that got me 75 copper. We'll sell a couple of these because I really don't need them right this second. And they're very easy to, to get more. Okay, that's good. Now we've got one silver, 55 copper. And let me sell this shield. I'm not going to use that. I can wear those cotton boots eventually. I can't use that. All right, cool. So now I'm up to two silver, 11 copper. So let's go ahead and close that. Very good. And let's go look for our pet food. Thanks for the help, everybody, because, like I said, new, total noob. This is probably magic. Looks like a wand. I don't know. I'm looking for a bag, right? Shoo doo doo doo. Alright, this one here has a... This is the weapon shop. I was just in there. Okay, over here is... Looks like the tailor? Yep. That's a tailor. Somebody around here has to sell food. He just pimped my Twitter. Trade district. Okay, this is the trade district you would think. I've been in other towns. I've seen them. There it is. There's the bag. Okay. So let's go in here. Check the bag. All right, Mr. Human. Uh, one, one comment I have to make about this game. The ceilings might be med medievally authentic, but they need to be taller. Every building I walk in, the ceiling is way, way, way too low. All right, so I'm looking for pet food, huh? Oh, glass flask. I'll buy a few of those. Because I can make potions, healing potions. Okay, 30, that's simply enough. Okay. Um, bombs, formulas, bombs. I don't see anything here. Oh, pet. No, I don't. They just have a wooden hang glider. That's interesting. Glass flask. Take candy and you can adopt a pet. Oh, okay. Okay. So, cats like candy. I totally get that. All right. So. All right, so we got to find the um, the pet district again, right? That's where everything is. There's a pig. Can I have an attack pig? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I said Taylor. I thought you said your name. Yeah, <laughs> sorry Taylor. Now we know your name. Okay, so here's a collie. The candy only works on a cat. What happened? It's in my mouth. Yes, 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 it's a dog. So I can't, I can only get a cat with the candy? Okay. I'll look for a cat. Is that a cat? Or is that a pig? That's a pig.
and it doesn't only not, it doesn't work in town. I think it's not working in town. Okay. Well, we'll try it. I think there's a cat over there. Is that a cat? What is that thing? It's a sheep. Okay, we're gonna go out of town. Those pineapples? Those are pineapples. We're gonna get the pineapples because like I have a hundred recipes for pineapples. Hold on one second. Hold on, 